consider building a balcony, whether it's for residential or commercial, I would recommend over engineering the structure. What do I mean by that? If it's gonna be on a residential structure, I'd recommend going with all commercial steel and building it stronger than it needs to be built just so you've got that peace of mind. Because a balcony is created to support the weight of people walking around on it, but it also needs to be built to withstand wind uplift because a balcony creates a wind tunnel. Wind can blow under, hit a wall, go straight up. Uh, this balcony here that we're going to be building in Dallas is going to be fully framed and welded steel. We're also going to have bolted members. We've already poured our two post piers. This is one pier here. We've got 3500 PSI concrete embedded with number four and number five steel. It goes almost five feet into the ground to maximum depth and it's going to be supporting an I-beam post which is going to extend up and then we're gonna weld a beam, a support beam, and that support beam is gonna run from about here all the way back to the house and it's gonna set on the load-bearing wall of the house. These steel members are gonna support cross members which are then gonna support steel decking. And on that steel decking, we're then gonna pour light concrete and then we're gonna seal that with a parking garage sealer. Then we're gonna put handrails up, planter boxes, paint it all black. One thing to keep in mind when you're working with steel, you want as much as possible to be as precise with your measurements as possible. Once we poured our piers here, we've come back out, we've taken elevation measurements, added those vertical measurements to the horizontal measurements of our main beams, to the other horizontal beams of our cross members so that we know exactly how tall our posts need to be. The easier I can make this on my crew, the better because the faster my crew works, the more efficiently they work, and the more efficiently work they work, the more I save on labor, payroll. It just takes precision, right? They always say measure twice, cut once. You can have all of your measurements, but you really gotta come back out to the job site and site verify those measurements before you put your order into your steel fabricator. Uh, they're gonna be cutting all of our members, delivering them all to the job site pre-cut, so all we've gotta do is assemble those, pack them all together, bolt them together, and then finish it off with fillet welds. Uh, this thing is going to be able to withstand 10 people standing up on top, so that's a pretty hefty live load. And it's also gonna be engineered to withstand straight line winds of 90 miles an hour. So it will comply with the ULI 90 wind uplift standards. Always wanna make sure we over engineer whenever we're building a deck or a balcony. I like going commercial grade, even on a residential application like this. If you have any questions, anytime, reach out. Instagram at Jess from the Northwest. Email live at autographconstruction.com.